All right. BK, where are we at? Great start. Well, we're in Miami. We're for APP Miami. This is the 5-0 Women's Doubles Championship match. We got our good friends, Grayson Hall and Brittany Levkulich playing. They're nervous, they're nervous. They saw me setting up the camera, so they're very <laughs> nervous. But it should be a fun game. Should be a fun game. And this is a team that they've actually already played. And so, they did pretty well against them, so yeah. I, would, I would hope that it, it carries on. But wondering if they're going to stick with the same game plan. I think that was, they would. It was a pretty close game the first time. It was 15-12, but you know they, they led the whole game, never went behind. So, that, so that's but. the one thing I noticed is that middle shot mm -hmm. was one that they were getting. Really, that's kind of the only shot that they were getting points on in the last game. Yep. Yeah, it is It is one of those points, because Grayson and Brittany have never played together. Yep, exactly. So they do not know. Oh. Oh, a little footfall call footfall. there on the overhead. Yep, footfall. Maybe a push off. I Four, zero, really two. This is a hot start. But I do believe since this championship, it's best two out of three. So, Dude, you know, I, a slow start can be made up. I got to give... Grayson, a shout out. Her dinking is consistent. <laughs> she does not miss. No. It is the wildest thing I've ever seen. No. Did you hear that score? I believe it is now 5 0 2. Okay. They just went on a 5 0 run to start this game. Cross-court dinking. There's the lob. Oh. oh, man. You know what? I like that, though. She's, she's, she can hit a good lob. It's not a, it's not a bad spot to go cross-court right there with it. Definitely not. I will say, when you're down, when you've just started five straight points off the bat, like, this is their first serve. This, this is, like, golden territory. They haven't even served yet, so. Oh. Going for a lob. After losing the first five points of a game on your opponent's serve. It's risky. It is a little risky, but I guess you do have to try something different. There Great we go. Great patience. All right, we finally get the ball back. All right, we Let's got see a what serve. they can do with it. Grayson with the resets. As always, what else is new? So My goodness. Good. So good. Solid. It baffles me for how tall she is that she doesn't hit the ball hard. Dude. But when you're that good at just playing defense the whole time, I guess there is no reason She's to, a wall. to hit the ball hard. She's a wall. <laughs> Commentator's curse. She misses a drop. I know. What immediately. That? Sorry, Grayson. <laughs> That's a brilliant lob. Oh, good defense. Grayson with the response. Oh yes. my goodness. A what great a fantastic point. point. A great point. All around, all four players. Defense to offense, just like that. She actually does such a great job playing on the left of taking that middle and sliding in and putting a lot of pressure. Definitely. I do think Brittany's more suited to playing the left. She is a little bit more of a power player. Grayson trying a little too much for to try and reach for that. Might be better off just letting those bounce. 
play her soft game. I think she's feeling a little rushed right now. Yeah. It's hard when you're you're down, you know? I feel like yeah, you might plus have to do stuff. it's the pressure of the final, too. They've gone undefeated to get here, but once those nerves pick up, everything changes. Great play. That was a, it. It's a great setup. Fantastic great play. Great setup. Eight two two. Eight. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Yay. There you go. A little too eager on the poach. Brittany exploits that perfectly. That was a great spot. Again, good for them. It is best two out of three, so you can take your time to try and get into this game, but a start like this is, is hard to come back from. What do you think they got to do? Yeah. Oh. That... I think Grayson does have to tone it down a little bit. She's she's being a little too eager on her dinks and she's popping it a little too high into M's forehand there. So mm -hmm. she's got to try and get that down. But Brittany, I do think, has to be more aggressive and take over a little bit here. Yeah. Because I think they can feel that Grayson's a little nervous, so they're targeting her really well. Mm -hmm. Gabby's doing a fantastic job of coaching the middle. Just like that. Four eight one. and being much more consistent with that's, those things. That's her game. Keeping it really low. She was popping those up early in this game, but on that sequence, it was fantastic. Pretty much every ball bounced, which is big. Really don't want to give your opponents too much of a chance to take dinks out of the air. Yeah. Timeout, it's 6-8. What a comeback. 6-8. I know that we have allegiance to one team. We do have a little it's bit of allegiance friend. to one team. But let's talk about this other team. What did they have to do different if they win the win? They're losing a little bit of momentum on just unforced errors right now. Yeah. I think that's that's what killed them in the first game. That's what's killing them in this game. Yeah. They've got easy shots that they're hitting out. Like in those last three points, two of those were just forehand rolls that they, they hit long. Yes. You know, mistakes like that are costly, especially indoors. The ball pops off a lot harder. We are playing in a convention center. It's air conditioned. Indoors, you don't have that humidity and wind resistance that you have outdoors. So the ball plays a lot faster as, you know, Ben Johnson himself will attest, it's a lot harder to play indoors because you can't rely on the ball coming at you slower. Yeah. It's a much faster game when you're playing inside. So I think they do got to tone down a little bit on the power game. And what they're doing a really good job of is keeping both Brittany and Grayson back. Yeah. And I think that's their that should be their game plan is just force them to play from deeper. Yeah. Uh, it's the worst. Not even APP is prone to a reckless ball on the court. You know what, though? It wouldn't be pickleball. Facts. We play a clear one. Courts are like oh, <laughs> two inches apart from Dude, each other. I was going to say, <laughs> we have so much room compared to clear one. Oh, my goodness. That was a good spot. Again, there's that middle we talked about. Yeah. Brittany being a little hesitant to take that. It's hard, like you said. It's a first-time partnership. Yep. I mean, they're really figuring it out on the fly. Yeah. Lovely. 
I will say Gabby's been nailing those lobs all day. I am surprised she missed it that long. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time to lob, you know. Yeah, and for as tall as Grayson is, she doesn't really like hitting overheads much, though. Which is surprising That's given she's so a volleyball good. player. My goodness, so Grayson good. hit a drive. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> goodness me. A good, Grayson a great Hall drive. just hit a drive. Great drive. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, everybody's shocked by that one. Good run, good run. That was Solid a great run. There. That is a fantastic they really run. needed that. A six point run Momentum to come wise. back to 8 8. Gabby and M do look a little stiff right now. Yeah. I think the nerves are playing their part on this side as well. We got someone on the sidelines getting in talking to here. Not the first time. He got a warning from the ref in the first game they played against each other. Too. It's a little spicy over it's here. A little spicy here. Dude, all I'm saying is I would not mess with that ref. Not at all. She She means, means business. business. <laughs> My like, goodness. Like she ain't playing. It's also one of those things like as much as it plays in your opponent's heads, it also does play in your head as well when oh, somebody's thousand, chirping on the sideline. A thousand much. percent. All right, eight, nine, one. Grayson's got it back. Yeah. That little nonchalant, no movement, reset everything Dude, mentality the, of hers the is. The chillest volley. And honestly, like, I guarantee we're going to get a ton of comments on the stream that she's like a 4 0, 3 5 at no, best. No, no, no. Because just you from the way are, that she plays. But you guys are so wrong. You she's don't understand consistent. how hard it is to play against someone like that. Here's here's the thing. She doesn't miss. Here's the thing. When you play somebody that hits a ball like that, it messes with your timing. One hundred percent. Like because you're expecting you're that expecting ball. a hard counter. Exactly. You're expecting a certain shot that your body rhythm's completely thrown off when she just resets everything back in the kitchen. Like it's it's it looks a certain way on on yeah. film, but. You don't understand. And trust me, she's played understand. on multiple teams with me, and every time I have her on one of my teams, we win. We've never lost with Grayson on our team. Dude, I'm telling you, it's <laughs> Nobody's tricky. figured her out. It's freaking tricky. And just like that, they come back to win from down 8-2. They come back to win 11-9. Unfazed. 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 Look at her. Look at her. The swagger. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to love this. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Brittany back. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Back for game two. That's the confusion. Oh, they called it out. But it I didn't, was in, though. I didn't get it? a I didn't get a great look at it. But I honestly thought it was in. That's a challengeable call though for referees or they can overrule that. Oh, are they redoing it? Very interesting. No, they call side out. Oh. Interesting. It'll be fun to go back and look at that replay. Yeah. Because I thought from here that looked very good. I thought so too. But, you know, in a tournament, you got to take every advantage you yes, can, I Grayson. guess. Yes, Grayson. It's 
Is this what do people say? Ball don't lie? Something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is this best uh, two out of three? It is best two out of three. So if Brittany and Grayson can pull this one off, it is <laughs> game, set, match. Brilliant. It's just that strategy of right side, right side dinks. Look at our D. Golly. Oh. Good hands, good hands. hands. Gabby with some fantastic hands there. Again, that's Grayson's biggest weakness. There's no power coming back on those counters, but as long as she can keep putting that the ball reset, back in the court, man. I mean, you don't need power to win in pickleball. It looks like they're going to continue to. Yes, Ooh. Grayson. There's that volleyball spike we've been waiting for. It looks like they're going to continue to do that cross court game plan between Grayson and... I'm surprised that Gabby and Michelle haven't tried to switch it up because... That's what I'm actually... It hasn't been paying off for them. They've exactly. played... They've played these girls in two games now where they've done the exact same strategy and it hasn't worked. Yeah. And that's kind so. of where I'm, where I'm at is I'm like, you know, you got to make something up. It's one of what? those things where... Yes, dinking cross court is great if you're able to get your partner into the game for some of those coaches, but with Grayson not missing any dinks right now, you're better off trying to dink middle and force them to make a decision of who's going to take that ball. Yeah. So I would like to see Gabby and Michelle try that more. Put the ball in the middle. Yeah. Force force Brittany and Grayson to make, make a decision. Mix it up, right? Like just something different because right now they're very predictable like we know exactly what's exactly. probably coming again, right again and there they go cross back court. in that rhythm of just cross court to Grayson oh, unlucky there no nothing you can do Grayson going for speed up. Don't see that. I mean, I often. actually think the ball was high enough to volley, but it's got to be down. Maybe not. Yeah. A... She did try to go inside out to the left side rather than trying to slap that backhand down to the cross court right side. The mechanics on that shot is great. Spa. I like that. Again, she's so nonchalant with it. Her motion doesn't I know, change. Dude. I think that's what threw her off. Is like. She had plenty of time to get to it, but it looks the exact same as her yep. roll shot to the baseline. Yeah. So it's like, as somebody that's playing it against her, you just think it's coming to the baseline, and you really can't tell by her body language where that ball's going. Yeah. Here it is. We're back in the same pattern. Grayson misses a dink. A rare miss. Rare miss. But I do, that's the idea. Right there, she went into her inside leg rather than trying to keep going across into her yeah. forehand. And that's what threw her off. Is that middle dink is such an important Dude, strategical element of the ball. I think the middle dink is one of the most underrated it's, shots. Honestly, personally, that one shot is what helped me go from doing okay at 5 0 tournaments to now consistently winning 5 0 in Moneyball tournaments is because I started incorporating the middle dink into my game. All right, tell, tell them why. Because I don't, people like, this is like a, unspoken secret i feel like i do think when it comes to dinking patterns like dinking is all about patterns yeah um it's it's one of those things when you watch pickleball at the highest level there's a lot of patterns that are a little too nuanced to see you it always looks like people are just going cross court back and forth all the time but at the highest levels of the game there's a rhyme and reason to every dink is is it defensive? Is it offensive? What am I trying to accomplish with the shot? Am I trying to win the point off of it? Am I trying to set up my partner? There's so many different things that you can do with the dink. So for me, it all comes down to having comfortable and consistent patterns that I'm used to playing. Mm -hmm. And what I do to train is I do patterns based on my opponent's feet position. So. The inside leg is the one that's closer to the tee, closer to the middle line, and yeah. the outside leg is the one closer to the sideline. And what I do when I practice dinks is I practice reps of going two shots to the outside leg, one shot to the inside leg. 
So I practice that repetition over and over again. And then I do the opposite. I do two shots to the inside leg, one shot to the outside leg. And it's one of those things where it completely throws off the rhythm of yeah. who you're dinking against because now they have to play dinks from different positions and they have to move for every dink. Yeah. In pickleball, it's always easier to hit a shot when you're stable and set with your feet and your body and all you have to do is hit the ball with your arm. Right. Versus if you're on the move for a shot, it becomes a lot harder because the margins are so close. And the other thing that I love about the middle dink, honestly, is that they have less angles to work with. When Absolutely. you get a really aggressive dink out wide, yeah, you might get them off balance, but you actually give them a lot more angles to work with on the court. Mm. Unlucky again, had the put away there yep. and just and just lost it. But that whole What's... sequence again started with a couple middle dinks yep. where now when she put that ball in the middle, Gabby wanting to speed that ball up, didn't have too many places to go with it, yep. but just try and force it back into the middle. Yeah. And getting Brittany and Grayson some easy counters. Again, if, if Grayson had any real power on that side, she would have put that ball away, but <laughs> it's just, it's rough out here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Heck yeah. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. What's the score? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows the score. Brit's out here in a championship match. I've been waiting for it, and we're back. <laughs> All right, three, four, one, back from the timeout. It was a little early to use that timeout there, but I honestly like it. I actually like, think they needed it. If you think your partner's getting frustrated and, and, and they're not in the right headspace, Use I, that time out. I think they needed it, honestly. Hopefully this allows them to reset and get back into this but game. It, but again, BK, I'm seeing the same game plan. Yes. I, honestly, I'm not sure if they talk about a lot of game plan strategy stuff. I think for them that timeout was more just a mental yeah. reset than anything else. I mean, great, great dinks, though. But again, there it is. Just that, that pattern is just not working for them as much. Yep. I think the other reason they're trying to stick with that pattern is Gabby doesn't have the greatest backhand dink. I think she's better when she's able to move into the middle and mm. play off of her forehands. So I think they're trying to force the ball into the, their own right side of the court so yeah. that Gabby can come in more and play from the middle. I don't really think they want Gabby dinking back and forth with Brittany at all. So. Well, even, I mean, I would even mix in straight ahead dinks or... I don't know. Just Precisely. I think you do need a change of change of pattern here because Grayson's getting a little too comfortable with these. I was going to say, it, because here's the thing, right? The more they stick with this pattern, the more comfortable. Exactly. And like the more, you know, reps and, you know, you just, you almost get in more of a rhythm. She's getting you know into what I mean? a very good And she's rhythm. getting into a great rhythm. And there we go again. She's being able, she's seeing more of the yep. middle ball. She's being more aggressive, which obviously plays to their strength. So for them, I would say they shouldn't change anything. But, you know, if you're the other team right now, I'd be thinking, we gotta do something different. Absolutely. I think what Grayson's doing a good job of is she's noticing when Michelle's trying to go into the middle with some of those dinks, but she's leaving them really high. Yeah. And Grayson's coming in big with some two-handed backhand speed ups into the feet. Yeah. And that's setting up some really good finishes. Like, if I were Michelle for those dinks, I would go shallow middle, right? Because she's trying to go deep with Definitely. that middle shot, and that's Definitely. not the point. You're Again, not, Grace is to too get, tall to try and yes. force that ball too long. Exactly. You're not you just trying gotta get her bending down. to get the ball past her. You're you're actually trying to reset the point yeah. and make, just make her move, right? Yeah. Grace is not comfortable moving. Or I shouldn't say not comfortable. I just don't think she wants to move. <laughs> you know, it never looks like she... she, she look at her. That's a perfect reset. She should be up in the kitchen by now. But she's just chilling Dude. in the transition zone. Like, she really doesn't care. Grayson's on her own clock. Yeah, she plays at her oh, own she's pace. She's going to do her she own can't, thing. She can't be forced to do anything else. I respect and it. And that's so healthy for it. her because she's never mentally out of the game. Yeah, I respect she it. She is one of the best mental pickleball players I have ever seen. I Because it's a bit moralizing it. being on the other side of that. Just watching someone just play like they no, yeah. don't care. Pretend like they like don't try. Yeah. 
Whereas that is her trying. That's her no. game. And that's I mean, the beauty she, of it. That's the thing is she's, she's phenomenal. Oh, that's a great Brilliant coach. coach. That's a great coach. <laughs> they didn't know we were Brittany's commenting. Brittany's having a grand old time <laughs> with this whole camera situation. I know, she's loving it. <laughs> I love that Brittany and Grayson just are playing like it's another rec game. I and, know. You know. Just jolly. Pickleball is supposed to be fun. They you know? they have like some of the best personalities. <laughs> exactly. It's the greatest. Both of them. It always cracks me up. Six Again. five one. Michelle and Gabby just have to find a way to get back into this game mentally more than anything. You can see a lot of frustration on their faces every time they miss. They need to take points like that. Hype yourself up. Give yourself say, some that's, energy. That's the other thing. I think um, I don't know these two other players really at all, but they do feel like emotional players. And I don't even mean that in a bad way. Because emotional players, when they are playing well, they get really excited, they get really hyped, and they play better. Definitely. But when they're not playing maybe as well, they get a little down. So when you... I feel like, you know, part of it is like just getting energy up and keeping that morale, yep. you know, but it, it's hard, you know, you know, and in doubles too, body language is huge. Cause if you see your Dude, partner go down, like even a little bit, right? like, yeah, even, I mean, if you see opponents, it like exactly. genuinely, genuinely, if I see, if I see my opponents are getting frustrated, yep. if one is getting frustrated, like we pick on that big time. It's, yeah. It's, fairly easy to notice too on the court yeah because it's very hard to keep your emotions in check when there's so much adrenaline flowing yeah and especially a situation like this where you know the game's so tight it's a final of yep. an app you want to do well you're trying to do your best and you can't focus on the mistakes you got to move yeah. past them next move. point next point mentality it's just baffling and we're back goodness. Nine, five, nine five two two, two points away from the gold Great attack, great attack. Very good hands. Great hands. Good hands Again, I love that. See, this is this is the difference right here is Brittany and Grayson just cracked up. Even though they yeah. just lost that point. Yeah, they're not crushed. They, they were laughing. It just They're both so mentally strong yeah. with, with their game and their belief in their game. It like doesn't bother them when they make mistakes at all. Right. I like that sign. I think that's good. But again, it also helps you play the game, you know? Like, they're not in their head emotionally about whether or not they hit the shot. Brittany's immediate reaction after missing that ball in the middle was, you know, I should probably be on the left side for that one. Let's yep. try and switch this up. So and, they're just playing the game, and, and that's, that's the beauty of it. And that's the thing. To me, I'm like a good pickleball team. A winning pickleball team adjusts faster than the other team, right? Definitely. And so I think what, you know, we're seeing is one team that adjusts just faster. Absolutely. And isn't afraid to change things up. Yeah, no, I think that switch call was huge. Because huge. They're, they're, they just lo lose a point get blazed down the middle they don't get hard on themselves immediate oh, reaction oh that's is, so good you know strategically we missed that because we've been playing left right this whole time we didn't stack on that one we miscommunicated on the middle let's go back to what's been working let me go back to the left you yeah. go back to the right let's play it out from there and just like that they get two straight points side out now they have match point There it is, there it and that's is. the championship. Incredible Gold medal game. winners for APP Miami, Brittany Levkilich, and Grayson Hall. We killed it. Killing it. Killed Look it. it. Look at, no reaction on their faces. <laughs> it's us on the sidelines celebrating. Goodness me. And that's a wrap.